you're back again with another Motion 5 tutorial and this tutorial I'm going to explain lights to you and I'm going to show you um, a few examples on things that we can do with lights. So if you want to follow through, please feel free to do so. I just feel that if I explain things to you and you know, understand exactly how things work, then you can use them more effectively. So let's get on and um, you can follow me through if you want. I'm going to go to my preview pane and just click fit and drag it to fit and make sure it fits. Let me close that for now. That's just a heads up display. I'll show you about that in a minute. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to this um, toolbar just above my timeline and build my layers. I'm going to click the little button and we're going to click rectangle. So we're going to drag out a rectangle and then we're going to press this F7 on our keyboard or see this little button here and it brings up our heads up display. Now our heads up display, all it is, is a shortened version of our inspector. Okay, so that's, it's just a quick version of our inspector because normally you'll have a file browser so you just want to do with quick tools. Right now to mess around with the rectangle, I'm going to select my group and then select rectangle again and the outline I don't want an outline but the fill I want it to be a different color um, and I want it to be sort of a creamy yellow type color okay and then we're going to add a camera and it'll ask me if I want to switch to 3d yes I want to work into a in, a in a 3d environment right now remember this is light so I'm just setting up something that will demonstrate the light to you and um, like I said, if you want to copy me along then please feel free to do so you can go to my camera and see where I am in my environment with my um, my pan pan camera view in the top right hand corner go back to rectangle and all i'm going to do is position this rectangle um so it's sort of a sat on the um the a 3d floor and you don't have to do this i'm just doing it because it's good practice really it's um so if you if you're sort of following through tutorials it's good practice to um to do things correctly so i'm just going to drag this this plane or this rectangle out so it's nice and big on my screen like that and I'm happy with that right just leave it there for the time being then I'm gonna add some text onto the top of this um, onto the top of this plane and I'm gonna call this text lights so I'm gonna highlight my lights and go to my f7 or my heads-up display and, um, and make it make it sort of a, a gray a gray color and then I'm gonna drag the size up so the text is a little bit bigger so you can see what's happening and I'm going to, going to deselect that lights and reselect the lights and just move it up above, yeah, above the um, above the plane, so it looks as though it's sort of sat on the floor. Okay. So yeah, that looks sort of looks so, so you could drag out the floor, you could keyframe that out the floor like that if you wanted to. But but yeah, so now that looks as though it's sat on the floor. <laughs> now we're going to start. We're going to do the lights. Okay, so. I'm, what I'm going to want to do, I'm just going to close that heads up display for now and I'm going to click a new layer here in the bottom left again above my timeline just below my layers, new layer and I'm going to drag the layer to the very top of my um, layers pane in the project. Now this is just, there's no reason to do this, it's just good practice to show you that it can actually, um, that can actually happen. I'm going to call this light. So now on this layer I'm going to add a light create a light here and this is where the um, the tutorial sort of starts from now I know I've probably gone sort of three four minutes in but this is where it starts for real from now so I've selected my light I'm gonna drag it into my light project into my light group right there um, and I've got my light selected now if I press the obviously I can do everything with my inspector if I want to but there's not a lot in the lights that you can't do in your um, heads-up display so let's use the heads-up display just for now right I'm going to come back to the point light because that's the one we're going to use. So we're going to start at the top. So in our drop down box here, I'm going to go to ambient. Now ambient light is very, very simple and there's very little, very few things that you can do with it. Um, you can turn the intensity up or down. And if I had an ambient light on, unless it was really intense like this, if I turned it off, it doesn't really make a lot of difference. It's just the intensity of the light is what an ambient light does. And obviously you can change the color with the colors um, drop down there. Okay, simple. Directional light, when you do a directional light, now I'm just gonna move it up a little bit. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It's a direction. Now at the moment, it's behind the light's text. That's why you can't see it. If I drag it in front of the light's text and angle it down a little bit, you will be able to see it. So it's a directional light. And again, you can mess around with the intensity and you can mess around with the colors, but it just points in any given direction okay and that's all it really does 
points in any given direction up or down and you can move it either here with these toolbars here or you can move it in the heads up display here so if you look in the inspector there's not really a lot that you can do with the lights that you can't do on the heads up display now let's go to spotlight so a spotlight is a bit like imagine a lampshade a light shade and if you move that light shade it would do different things to the light so we can do that with a heads up display display in the cone angle so we can make it like a spotlight bigger or smaller and now just to demonstrate this to you let me just move this around like this so it's in a spotlight with the cone angle obviously makes it bigger now the soft edges if you look at the edges just around here if I close no, sorry mess around with the soft edges it sort of doesn't make it quite as sharp like this it softens the edge and that's exactly what it does the fall off start and the fall off itself if you watch the fall off start sort of brightens the center of it brightens and sharpens the center of it the fall off end does the back of it if that makes sense to you and the intensity again makes it really bright or really not so bright and then the um, the color as well you can change the color again we can rotate the light and you can sort of keyframe the light backwards and forwards and, and I've done this in in a different um, tutorial as well right okay so the point light is what we're gonna um, what we really want to concentrate on um, now the point light point light it does does quite a lot actually um, so let's look at the intensity and let's brighten the intensity up a little bit and let's raise the light a little bit more um, let's mess around with the fall off because that's where it's not looking quite so cool with the fall off and then let's drag the light back towards the lights like this and then drag it up a little bit and back in front of the lights so that's sort of yes that's sort of, sort of where I want my light um, so I could do a few things with this now right I'm gonna turn my shadows on so you notice my shadows and then I can turn the softness the shadow softness up or down and I can move my light with this thing here so we're gonna keyframe the light we're just gonna make a different um, make the environment look a little bit different um, in our final project so let me show you some of the shadows let me if I open them in, in the inspector so click inspect you haven't if you haven't got it already selected highlight the shadows here turn it on and then click show just here and then I'm going to change the color of my shadows to be a gray type color and it just turns the shadows down a little bit and I prefer it I just think it looks a little bit nicer okay so now with this light what I'm going to do let's move the shadows I'm going to drag it here so with this light I'm going to put it off my screen and I'm going to click record so I'm going to add a keyframe I'm going to put it at the end of my timeline drag it across and out a little bit and then that's keyframe that as well but what I'm going to do to make it look a little bit sharper with my camera I'm going to keyframe my camera so my camera's um, where it is at the moment and I'm going to use these tools here I'm going to use the rotate tool quite a bit I'm going to press record for my um, for my keyframe start and here when the light gets to here I want the camera to rotate to here like this then when it gets to here I want the camera to rotate here like this back around here like this and then scale out a little bit just to here and then when it gets to here I want it to scale in like this so now let's have a look at that. So here you can see that it, um, it rotates quite nicely and we'll um, we'll have a look at that on the, um, see what I can do with it in FCPX. We'll just do some simple things to it. But yeah, that's, that's lights explained. I hope this helps you out with the lights and um, I think we will move on to camera next um, because I like to know that everybody knows stuff. So if you have any questions, please feel free. And likewise, if you have any um, requests that you want me to do, then again, please feel free, leave it in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching, catch you later, bye.